What is up, assholes? I got dyed hair. Welcome to opening night trivia. Uh, I'm happy today. I'm very happy. We got we got two very nice, very, very cool people to, today. We also have Anthony. How are you? Wait, do I not? <laughs> you call me mean? Um, well, I was good up until that moment. Um, and and one other moment, as we will see soon, uh, there's someone that's going to make me look really bad. Uh, with my eye on here, and someone's about to make me look really bad. And so that kind of brought me down a little bit, too. So this is like, you're doubling up on me right now, and you knew this, so I'm a little upset. But I'm excited for this match. Uh, these are two, uh, it seems like two great people. Uh, this looks like it's going to be a lot of fun, so I'm excited to see how this goes. Yeah, and unless I am mistaken, uh, oh, wow, that really didn't help. I think this is our first match after the title match, right? Oh, no, 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 it's not. It's not, it's not, it's not technically, but it's our first one of the new block, so welcome to more filming. We have Kurt Kolakowski, who, who you would know from everywhere else and being a He's big fan of crime films and Saint Lament and all that good shit. And Nozette, uh, who is brand new. Uh, we haven't heard from him. Actually, you know what? Let's, uh, let's, let's talk to him right now. Uh, brand new. I think this is your first match, unless I haven't seen you somewhere else. Uh, welcome to Trivia. How are you doing? Hello. Thank you so much. Uh, nice for having me. I I'm really excited to answer questions about movies because I love movies so much that I I, I had to do this. I had to do this I'm, and test myself. Awesome. Okay. Super excited. Uh, I, I, look, I look forward to seeing what you know and getting some new blood in the league. It's always yeah. fun. So like I mean, this, because like being this is like one of your, if not the first trivia match. Like, do you have any like anxieties or worries like trying to answer questions or anything that you're just like. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not, I'm not feeling this, or like I'm really feeling this. I'm ready to go to war for it, or anything like that. Not really. I, I'm I'm just excited about it, and I love uh, movie trivia, and I, I I just want to answer questions and try to do well. As long as I can do well, uh, I will be happy. All right. Give me words for Kirk, your opponent. I don't know anything about him, and I didn't want to check uh, uh, anything because uh, I think that it felt uh, fresher and more, you know, like natural to just uh, get to know each other here. All right, nice and sweet. All right, we'll talk to you in a second. All right, and now we face his opponent, a man who has kicked my ass in, in the realm of trivia before. So no hard, no hard feelings there, uh, Kirk. How are you feeling? How are you doing? Welcome to Ansel. I'm doing good. It's a rare daylight game for me. So uh, <laughs> this match brought to you by J.J. Abrams. <laughs> the, uh, Lot of players there. Uh, but uh, no, I'm excited to be here. Um, I've been watching a lot of Ansel matches. Uh, I really, I'm really into the format, and I've been, um, you know, kind of chomping a bit to play here for a while. So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to be here today. Yeah, I, I, I think you, I think you were the one of the first people who were just like, "Come on, put me in." I'm like, "Okay." We gotta find time because I I went excited. I know I know how you are in full metal, and I know you love playing in that format. I know you love round three, so I'm wondering if round two is like going to be your darling here in this division. Yeah, um, hopefully. Um, I watch. You know, I picked a movie that I really loved, and you know, I, I, I studied in the Zets movie, and he, he picked a really good movie too. I really enjoyed watching it. Fortunately, um, you can really get a bad draw on that sometimes. I have to watch some pretty terrible movies, um, so I appreciate that. Uh, hopefully, he enjoyed mine too. Um, but yeah, I mean, even, you know, even watching, you know, like I said, playing along at home, I usually do pretty well. Um, uh, you know, in round one, you know, I like the IMDb, the, the, deep, the, uh, the filmography round. Um, so I think, uh, hopefully, you know, if all goes well, I should, I, I, I hope to do good in all three. Absolutely. Any words for your opponent? Yeah. Um, welcome. I'm excited to be playing somebody new instead of, you know, Brian Michaels for the 15th time. Um, and, uh, yeah, just, just playing, playing somebody brand new. It's tough. Um, there's no film on him. Uh, had he had film, I, I definitely, I'm the opposite. I definitely would have checked him out and see what he knew and what he was all about. Um, but it's, it's, it's tough going and see, uh, playing somebody brand new, but it's gl I'm glad to have, you know, brand new blood here and, um, yeah, it's a great match. Good luck. Great. All right. Team second. Cool. Very nice people. I, I feel like I'm always surprised when everyone's like, oh yeah, it's weird to have fun. When I'm here, like people's like, I always like nice players. It's always nice to see him just like cordial, ready to just like have fun. Right, you always need someone on the opposite side of me, apparently. Uh, nice. And <laughs> fun to have on screen. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you do have fun on your t shirt. So, like, that gives you some points. Yay. <laughs> Are you ready to start this? Uh, yeah, I'm all ready. Let, let's get this going. All right, let's go. I almost pressed in, I almost pressed in broadcast. I am tired. All right. Introducing first. The record of zero wins and zero defeats, making his opening night trivia debut, Nozette Million. 
Hello, You're everyone. Fuck it up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello. And his opponent. With a record of zero wins and zero defeats, making his opening night trivia debut, it is the Consigliere, Kirk Kowalkowski. What's up, everybody? All right. Here is how round number one works. Round number one is 10 questions in a variety of movie trivia categories. Uh, after the question is asked, you'll have 20 seconds to write down your answer. After the 20 seconds, you will both present your answer and speak it. If you get it correct, you get one point. If you get all 10 correct, you get a bonus question at the end of the round. And for the duration of this match, you have three repeats and one challenge. Nazette, are you ready? I'm ready. Kirk, are you ready? Let's do it. All right, let's fucking go. All right, your first question comes to the category of drama. In Collateral Beauty, Howard writes three letters where he posts about three different abstract concepts. Name two of the three. This is a movie. It, it was, and it is one I have uh, little to no desire to watch. Um, <laughs> so I probably won't, honestly. This That's is fair. I remember, I remember being there like, oh, this would be a big Oscar darling. And everyone's like, wait, no, it's actually like dog shit. It's actually garbage. Eh, you know, yeah. It's either an Oscar darling or trash. I think. Yeah, one of the two. It has to be one of the two. Five, four. I know where I live. Three, lead. two, one. All right, Kirk? I said death and time. And how's that? Didn't have it. All right, Kirk is correct. The third one is love. Aw. And sad we are that he did not pull out love. All right, moving on. Question number two. In the category of war, Courtney B. Vance, Don Cheadle, and Dylan McDermott star in what 1989 war film? I didn't know that Don Cheadle was acting back then. <laughs> I didn't know that Courtney B. Vance was acting back then either. So, you know, I might as well just say it. Or Dylan McDermott. So oh. this is a, a lot of people in their very youth in a movie. that. Oh, you know what? Uh, I just checked. Um, I'm going to do something. So, to correct for a sake, it's actually a 1987 film. Just checking oh, I... that. Yeah, oh. so... A free repeat, Courtney B. Vance, Don Cheadle, and Dylan McDermott star in what 1987 war film? I apologize. My typing does not always go well. Or uh, I... It'll probably come up later, but yeah, that's uh, that's an issue I've had as well. Yeah. It's all good. Uh, mean... no, Zach, you, could you get your hands higher? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Right. Not like not like movie release days would ever help me with anything. I, you could say this was in the 60s, and I'd still be like, yeah, yeah sure, Courtney B. Vance well, was probably... He, like, he about right? numbers. Like, it's just math. He was two. Five, four, three, two, one. How's that? Well, guess Platoon and Kirk. I don't know if this is an 87, but I said Hamburger Hill. That is, wait, I can't give it to you. Oh, geez. Oh, <laughs> Hamburger. Uh, hamburger. Jeez, oh, man. Hamburger. Oh, oh that's. <laughs> it's, a, you know, it's, a, it's all right, Kirk. It's early in the morning. You can shake it out and you're good. Jeez. <laughs> All right, your third question is in the category of fantasy sci-fi. Why was the Earth going to be destroyed in A Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Oh, there, there's, there's some leniency here, so I'll give you, oh, yeah. I'll give you two options for answering. Something. Yeah. I really enjoy like all these, all these books. I really enjoy this movie. I find them kind of weird, zany fun. I actually really liked this as a kid. Like, it was fun. Right. That is this. I mean, yeah. most stuff is fantastic. That that was a category I got in a full metal match. I think I was in that one. You <laughs> surprised me. Five, four, classic or three, two, one. Kirk? I hope this is accurate enough. I said to make room for a new space highway. And Nazette. You didn't have it. I, I, think, I think we can get that to yeah. Kirk. Space yeah. highway, bypass something. They're getting rid of it to make life easier for intergalactic travelers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I am next, so I will go next. Uh, in question number four, in the realm of recent releases, in what U.S. state is the plantation located in in Antebellum? This is a movie. A, a, oh, this one is. I was I, not happy. Yeah, I am. I don't know. Like, there's, I'm like, I think I think this thing about you as a writer. You aim for like entirely different movies than I write about. I think it's interesting just to look at like our comparison. Uh, yeah, I mean, my, my movies are probably not like classy, good. Um, I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> I know. This these are not Oscar movies. Three, I promise you. Two, one. 
All right, pens down. How's that? Uh, what's your answer? I said Texas. And Kirk. I guess the state that had plantations. I said Georgia. And for Louisiana. Mm-hmm. Right between. I think, you're, I think you're literally, yeah, <laughs> sandwich. <laughs> uh, can you do sandwich for states? Anyways, uh, classics. Classics. What musical instrument does Jerry play in the jazz club band in Some Like It Hot? We call this one a coin toss. <laughs> I call this one. Hopefully, you've seen it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's 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 one of my favorite movies. I, I love the, I love this fucking film. I feel like this is one that's desperately on my. I really need to watch this movie. Yeah. Oh. Uh, if, if, if I come to New Jersey, I am putting it on, and Christina will love it. Then you have to love it. I, I do have a very nice one. It's nice outside. I have a yeah. projector, and we put it on the projector yeah. outside. Watch movies. Yes. Very nice. Five, four, three, two, one. Kirk. Pretty sure Jerry was the bass player. And how's that? There is a problem here because uh, I am not a, an English native speaker. I put contrabajo, which is like a big cello, like, like the huge one that is like, uh, but I don't know how to say it in English right now uh, because I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Uh, I f- that is fair. Uh, I'm, I'm literally looking at the translation right now. Uh, I, I literally couldn't look it up. Um, could, could you could you could you show me the board again? I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a big cello. He has to stand up to be able to use it. You know. Uh, I've okay. If in the movie, it's one of those where he has to stand up and play. So like I literally look it? up look up contrabajo, and it, it says bass or double bass. So that's Nazat right. is that's correct. It. Yes, yeah. I would say it's correct. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> be nervous like, makes my <laughs> English. <laughs> fine. I don't think like, like an electric bass in there. <laughs> no, like, like, yeah, one so. of our admins is a Spanish language speaker, so I'm, I'm used to this. Like, I, I, I'm about to be on the spot with it. When Thanks. we're asking okay. your son questions, I may have to ask for the opposite favor. So, yeah, <laughs> I will argue Wait, about this. The now. questions are in English. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, Nate, sorry. I'll, I'll get here at some point. Okay, moving on. Question number six. I apologize. The category is sports. 2011's Goon is based around what sport? This movie is fantastic. Speaking of sports movies, uh, I haven't seen this. <laughs> That's a high recommend. Just going to throw that out. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm sure. It's one, of the, I'm, it's one of the things I think I like. I actually like watching hockey. But it's one of the very few sports I like. What? Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. How's that? Ice hockey? I think you call them NHL, I suppose. And Kirk. <laughs> Good. Hockey. Yeah, both correct. You, you do realize why I made that look, right? No. Okay, we'll talk about it after you read this next question. Uh, romance. Freddie Prince Jr. falls in love with Rachel Lee Cook in what 90s rom-com? Why are you upset? <laughs> I Well, look, they both already answered at this point. But after that question was asked, when you go... Yeah, you know, I really should watch this I like hockey. Yeah. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> I did it again. I was like, they both uh, already answered. No one changed an answer. Everything was good. But I was like, I didn't even catch it. No one he said it. I didn't even catch it. I was so oh, focused. Good. <laughs> it, it, you know, it, it's better than, what did I do for Co versus Garth? It was like Irish or something. Yeah, uh, okay, I know that movie. You know, like four, five, three. I'm just guessing here. Two, one. Uh, uh, it's Kirk. I get these movies mixed up. Is it She's All That? And how's that? Just Friends? She's All That is correct. Uh, I am next. I will remember this this time. Okay, question number eight. Uh, we move into the director's category. Uh, who directed 2012's Looper? This is what happens when I when I host a match about like fifty like half an hour after I wake up. <laughs> Isn't it two? I fell asleep at like four. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm always shocked. I get up to go to work. I'm like, huh, I'll get your message for overnight. I'm like, oh hey, yeah, I'll, I'll take care of this. And you're like, oh cool. And I, go get it. <laughs> cool. I was watching fucking fandom movies, okay? Oh. I I work best tonight, what can I say? <laughs> All right. Five, four, count this down. Three. Two, one. Now is that? Ryan Johnson. And Kirk. Ryan Johnson. Both correct. Your penultimate question 
category of musicals. In what musical will you find the songs The Rain in Spain, Why Can't the English, and Just You Wait? Why can't the English? Yeah, why question. can't they? Tony, why can't? Huh? <laughs> call, call them out. <laughs> Ready to fight. Uh, I will say, just, like, I'm not narrowing it out because we never ask a question like this, but, like, Just You Wait, also arguably a song from Hamilton? I don't know. I like. I, li- I would like to see like you know. We don't. We don't. We don't bring up that movie around me. Oh, that's right. Uh, Not anymore. Let's... Just you wait. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, oh. one. Kirk, my fair lady, and Nazette. An American in Paris. Kirk is correct. Kirk Paris, good guess. Although better movie, American in Paris. Uh, my fair lady was long. All right. I'm going to say this, though. This is in the NAS category, the 10th category. The question is in plot summary. It is a little longer, so I will speak a little slowly. If you need a repeat, just let me know. In what what is the movie from this plot summary? A teacher on exchange from England is placed in an underachieving Texas school where she she coaches the children in soccer, improving their self-esteem and leading to unexpected success. Great success. <laughs> really? That's that's how, that's how we're playing this. I, I, I feel like every joke I make, you just have this, the slightest of eye rolls. Just like, why did I sign up for this? <laughs> I, I mean, I feel like at this point, people expect it. When they watch yeah. these matches, they want you to make a, a joke that I judge. I think um, I'm pretty sure that when they watch the matches, they just watch for trivia and they don't actually pay attention to what I'm saying. No, they they come for us. Trivia, yeah, they, they better. Obviously, five, four, three, two, one. How's that? Bend it like Beckham and Kirk. Good guess. I also said bend it like Beckham. Looking for the big green. Mm. Both great guesses, though. There's not yeah. a bad plan. Uh, the Big Green, a uh, very excellent movie with a goat as a mascot. Hi, Rick. That's a good favorite question. We should save that. Uh, <laughs> I had no clue. All right, so going into round two, it is uh, Kirk up seven to three is what I have. That is also what I have. All right, heading into round number two. Round number two is known as the deep cut round. Before this match, each movie, each player picked a movie for their opponent to study. Uh, for questions they answer about their own film, they'll be getting one point per correct answer. For their opponent's film, however, they get two points. Repeats and challenges are still in effect. Kurt, did you are in the lead? Would you like questions from your film first or second? Um, yeah. Let's let's do your son first. All right. So, players, here are your questions from your son. Uh, Anthony, can you ask them? <laughs> I will. I will ask them. This was this was quite a movie. All right. Your son. Uh, question number one. What? Two things do the attackers take from Marcus after they beat him? No, first question does not sound like a fun movie. Oh, it is. It is not a fun movie. It's all downhill from here. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I will say, I saw Kirk give this three stars. So it has to be at least good. I, I, I did in there was like it was very, very like uh, the slowest of slow burns, but the like really good ending. Like the ending kind of hit hard. Ooh. Okay, I'm curious. Five, four. Three, two, one. Now that wallet and watch, and Kirk, his keys and his phone. That is correct for two points. Uh, police officer said so. Cell phone and the house keys. They recommend changing the locks. Um, question number two in your son. What is the name of the nightclub that Raul's father owns? By any chance, is it the same nightclub for Night of the Roxbury? Why are you giving away answers again? <laughs> <laughs> we just had to talk about this. I, I I know he just runs into two wild and crazy guys there, but like he's not an exact like hint. How how many different movies and TV shows are you gonna reference three, in this question? Two, one, Kirk. AP3. And Mazette. B3. Kirk is correct. AP three. Uh, the challenges are on the table. If you need, if you think it is a, uh, 
I mean, I, I have watched the movie in its original version in Spanish, and I, I seem to remember that they say literally P3, which means P3. I don't recall hearing A P3. So, okay. That is my doubt. That's fine. So, I, if you want to challenge, you can. Yeah. I'm gonna challenge because I, you know, um, I, I think that I heard that, so I, I just want to make sure. No, perfectly understandable. We will, uh, we'll check that out. Uh, this is full disclosure. I like it's very possible you are correct because I had the subtitles on and, and they said it and I could see the AP. But if you are correct, then yeah. uh, we can check the yeah. right. So we will go and check that, and we'll be right back. All right, so we reviewed the challenge. Uh, we got back from it. Netflix are little shitheads. Uh, apparently, they didn't translate it verbatim. So what Nazette heard in the, in the native Spanish language is his answer, but the subtitle translations is what was there for Kirk. So they're kind of be both correct. So they're both getting points for this question. Try to be yep. fair. And yep. hopefully, hopefully the rest of these cool. go well. So <laughs> question number three. What is the car radio show that Natalia Persca... Uh, Percalis hosts that Jaime listens to in the car. I apologize. You want the, for, you want the name of the show? I want the name yeah. of the show. There's okay. a, hmm. I think is it isn't is it Percalis? Uh, I I listened to this like 15 times, so I was like, oh, I'm gonna use this okay. I but it was earlier today, and I've, I I failed. I just I dropped, I've dropped out of Spanish, so I am actively bad at at it. <laughs> Yes, if you would like a repeat of the name, I could certainly do that since I kind of butchered it. Uh, if you want one, but seems like people uh, got this. All right, Four, hopefully. three, two, one. Kirk, uh, this one slipped by me. I just guessed news talk. And how's that? I said Las Mañanas en la Ser. I'm just checking from, you know, but I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, very simple. It was uh, today. Oh, like, really? that is longer than it. So I'm just going yeah. to say that's incorrect. <laughs> It was just, it was today with, not uh, with her. Uh, I'm not going to try okay. to go through that again. Okay. I apologize. All right. We'll move on to the next question. Uh, this one I hope is also right. How old was Salvador, the young boy whose life Jaime saved and son of Juan? I don't know. When you, when you write like that, I always think of like, like old Norse, like I am Thor, son of Odin. It does kind of sound that way. Like it'd be, uh, Salvador Wanson, like one son. Oh, I see. oh, oh. yeah. Oh, I, I, see. Like, I, I like I like naming convention. It's fun. I, I got I got it now. It, it's coming together. Four, three, two, one. How's that? Is it eight? And Kirk, eight. Both correct. He was eight. All right, all right. We are going to move to our final question in your son. Who did Marcus say was on his way when Marcus, Pedro, and Andrea were waiting in the car? I realized one of the other questions I had heard I was not able to do. So, oh, all right, fair. Let's we'll switch. You know, it's uh, I, I was gonna make a joke about uh, hold down, throw down, but I don't know if that's accurate. Hannah Montana, five. Four, <laughs> two, one, whatever. Uh, that was that. Luis. And Kirk. Luis. Both are correct. Yeah. Score now is, I believe, 15 to 6 heading into yeah. Kirk's film. That's correct. But no, that definitely not out of it because now is the two pointers. Yeah. Big 10 points with possibility in an awesome film, The Odd Couple. All right. Tell me your first question. What is the name of the hotel where Felix tries to jump from at the beginning of the film? It's a great movie. Uh, another one on my list. Oh, I, I feel like you'd like it. Yeah, I probably I would. I, 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 do. I think I would. Uh, I, you know, I've all, uh, very recently been getting into the classics. You know, I did all the '60s Audrey recently. Hell yeah. I did all those, so I'm, I'm working. I'm working my way. Three, two, one. Kirk? Hotel Flanders. And Nazet. Didn't have it. All right. Kirk is correct. At the first poker game, Oscar says he is how far behind on alimony? Looking for the actual, like, money number. Uh, 
Now, is is this movie as good or uh, worse than the uh, TV show that has much also- better, immensely better? Fuck that show. <laughs> I, I I do hope that you realize that was a joke. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. Three, two, Never one. Watched the show. Now is that three hundred and Kirk eight hundred? That is correct. What specific food does Oscar throw against the wall the night after feel or, or yeah sorry what specific food does does Oscar throw against the wall the night after Felix wouldn't continue the date with the twins So fun facts um at my high school we performed this Can I get a repeat? Gen- yep, I'm first sorry, repeat. What specific food does Oscar throw against the wall the night after Felix wouldn't continue the date with the twins? Yeah. So my fun story, because Kirk interrupted me. My high school performed this, but every night they changed casts. So we had a male cast and a female cast, including the, the dates. Like the, the lead and the supporter would change every single night, and it was a lot of fun. Okay. Yeah. I, I right. can honestly say Four. I Three. never did a draw, I never did a play. One. <gasps> oh. Kirk. Linguini. And Nazet. Linguini. Ratatouille is, is, yeah, the guy from Ratatouille is correct. <laughs> Your public question in the odd couple. How did Oscar say he met the twins? Twins, Basil, the twins. 18. Uh, I believe. No, never mind. Never mind. I'm, 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 I'm trying to count. How's that going for you? Uh, very close, but not quite. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Now is that? I put that they live in the building, in the same building. And Kirk. They were stuck on the ele- He was stuck on the elevator with them. Kirk is correct. Right. And your last question, possibly game point. According to Felix, what was wrong with the table he and Oscar got at the restaurant the night he tried to commit suicide? I feel like for a movie, it's supposed to be funny. There's a lot of... Uh, it, yeah, forward. I will say that. like Dark dark subject matter, uh, but very funny. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. Sometimes there's... there's, there's big Jack, Lemon, Jack Lemon's a treasure, though. Yeah. Five, Another movie. four, three, two, one. We're going to announce that first. It's not well balanced. And Kirk. It was right under the air conditioner. And your winner, by way of knockout, Kirk Kowalkowski. All right. Uh, we will jump into post-match interviews right now, starting with our, uh, our winner today, Kirk. You were again. You were talking at the bit. You were ready to play here, and it shows. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I was definitely excited. Um, I watched uh, both those uh, round two movies twice. Um, just, I mean, I've watched a couple million times, and I watched specifically for this both of them twice. And um, yeah, I, I was ready. I, 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 you know, I came to play. Um, I'm mad at myself for Ham- Hamber Hill. Um, I was, I wasn't too uh, confident in that answer, so I think I just scribbled something down because I didn't think it was right. Uh, so, but uh, yeah, otherwise, yeah, I, I'm 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 happy with what, how I played. All right, uh, I will say ha- having a knockout puts you in very good contention. Uh, Jake Marangoni, uh, who was also playing this week, uh, also started his career with a knockout. So and that, that put him in very high standing. So I want to know, like, how are you feeling? Like now, now that now that you've got your toes in the vision, like you're 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 here. Are you ready for like things to get harder to continue to start like ramping up? Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I, I yeah, I, I know how it works. You know, the the, the first match is the you know you, the debut matches. You know, they get they get tougher from there, and I'm ready for it. Um, I'm excited. I, I want to keep playing. Like I said, um, kind of. I would have liked to. I mean, obviously, I like it in the knockout, but um, would have liked to go out to round three just to just to practice that a little bit. Um, but no, I mean, I'm not going to complain about this. Um, everything went pretty well. All right, great. Uh, do you have anyone who you, who you want to play next? Um, well, first of all, I want to say um, great game, uh, Nazette. Um, you know, 
it just goes this way sometimes, especially when you when you're starting out. But I hope he keeps playing because um, he, he seems like got a lot of potential. He knows his stuff. He loves movies. I hope he plays here. I hope he plays other places. Hope we see him again. Um, but yeah, as far as who to play next, um, whoever again. I mean, just start out. out I, I don't know where where this puts me as far as like schedule wise, who I would play. Um, but I'll take whoever you got. All right. Uh... Classic. We don't know either, so it's very up in the air. You could be playing anybody. Uh, but we will see you in your next match, and we look forward to seeing you then. Excellent work. And now we talk to our second place winner today, uh, Nazette. I'm going to say first match jitters, because I, I, I really like your personality. You seem like a really nice guy. And you got five points in the round two, which is always nice. But how are you, how are you feeling overall today? Uh, I'm okay. Um, I think that uh, after, you know, Feeling things out in in the game, I realized that I should have prepared a lot more. Uh, actually, I, I wanted to do this just to have fun and to to see how how well or or not so well uh, I could do. And uh, the funny thing is that um, I've never studied uh, at all movies. You know, I, I just know what I know, and I didn't study a lot for this aside from watching your song again and you know uh, checking things for the odd couple but i uh, i think that my rival uh, prepared way better than me and i should have done that maybe i should have checked <laughs> more <laughs> about him uh, but I, I i'm just happy to play i'm just happy to play and i know that uh, i have to be ready next time yeah well, again like at the, at the end of the day like you do walk out of this with with the l but you know now going forward, like you know what to expect from the division. You know, like maybe mistakes you made in prepping and how to change that going forward. And you can easily get the win next time because, like, you knew you were moving pretty well to the point you could even challenge a very specific detail, and you got it right. True. Sure. Yeah, uh, that's the thing. I, I I just know so so many shit is in my brain, uh, but at the same time, uh, I. Some of the movies from round one I I haven't seen, and I. I, I'm not really interested in them, like Colarte or Beauty and things like that. So uh, those specific details is like, you know, you know what you know. Uh, if you haven't seen it or you haven't heard too much about it, it's like, it's difficult. Yeah. So uh, again, you are 0-1, which, which does not put you out of competition. A lot of 0-1s continue to play. Is there, is there anyone who you would like to face going forward? I am so new in this that I'm just uh, trying to, to learn about it. Uh, um, uh, again, I just love movie trivia. I just love uh, answering questions, and uh, I know that I have some gaps of knowledge that I need to fill in. But at the same time, I don't know. Uh, with, with the right questions, uh, I, I could shine a, a little bit more in the future. So I just have to prepare those specific weak points. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. We will. So uh, hopefully, uh, once you are, once you feel ready, once you feel, once you feel ready to come back, uh, we can see you play someone else. Yeah, maybe. Uh, just let me know when I have to fight again, and I will study my ass off this time. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. See you in the next match. Uh, I like today. It's very nice. I like. I like. I like having nice people play. I love having nice people answer questions. It's just very, very, very casual. Very, very pleasant today. This this was this was great. I mean, we we have seen Kirk around. We knew we know he knows his stuff. We know he's aware. No, that it's awesome. Uh, he was great. I really look forward to another match with him. And it, sometimes it is just that way. Like you said, the questions around one, if you just don't know the movie, you don't know the movie. And round two here, it, I feel like a lot of the first time they come in, they're not aware how deep cut these questions can get. Uh, really looking for very specific details and things uh, in movies. So that's always a thing. But then I know... Kirk on next one, he's going to come in. He's going to be firing, ready to go. I know Nozette is going to be ready to go, especially with that round two. He know I I'm worried about his round two. I feel like he's not going to miss a thing next time. So yeah, maybe yeah. So uh, so for Nozette, for Kirk, for Anthony, and for Christina, and for myself, Adelaide. Thank you for watching Opening Night Trivia. Stay inside. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Wash your face. Support your local teachers. Get a fucking vaccine. Uh, and we will see you later this week or next week. I don't know for another match. <laughs>